Alright, so let's try to solve the problem together. So I will just restructure the code here, remove anything that has nothing to do with the code, and insert after element lm into data. So this is where I'll, our code will go. Now, the first thing you want to do in inserting an, an element into the linked list is to create that element. So let's actually create a pointer first to the new element, then allocate just enough memory for that new element. So this is going to be lm alloc size of element star. Alright, so now we have, we've allocated enough memory to contain the integer itself and the next pointer. So this is our new node. And then what you want to do after any allocation, after every uh, memory allocation, you want to ensure that it, it has successfully completed. Because if malloc fails, it will just return a null pointer. So let's make sure that we did not get a null pointer. And if we did get a null pointer, we're just going to return 1, uh, indicating that the function has failed to complete successfully. Now we could move on to actually handling the special cases. Now the first case we want to handle is if you want to insert at the beginning of the list. Remember we said uh, inserting at the beginning of the list would mean that this argument, the lm argument, is null. So let's check for that. So if lm, not lm, I mean if lm is null, you're going to want to uh, insert your new element at the head of the list. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your element points to the current head. So new lm next is equal to head. So our, our new element is pointing to the current head. And now the head, we want to make it point to the new element. So this way, we have our new element placed at the head of the list. And then return 0, indicating success. Now the second case is the general case, whereby you want to insert an element anywhere in the middle of the list. So let's create first a pointer because we're going to need that pointer to sweep through the list. So call it um, current. And that pointer you want to assign it to head. So you want to make it point to the same element that head is pointing to. So the first, the, the first element of the list. And then you're going to sweep through the entire list starting from the head of the list. And this is what we're going to do right here. So while current, while current is not null. Uh, so while current is actually pointing at an element of the list and current is equal to current next. So this essentially what it does is it allows you to loop through all the element of the list. So this is where we're going to be putting our code, our matching code, uh, checking if one of the elements in the linked list is equal, is, is the same as the element pointed to by uh, the element that was passed to us in the function. And this while loop ensures that we're sweeping through the entire list. Um, so this is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to check that our current is equal to lm. Now if this condition comes out to be true at any point, then this means we've identified the element after which we want to place our new element. Right? This was the condition or the requirement for the function. So suppose it came out to be true, what do we have to do? We're going to have to link this element to the... Um, to the now before we do that actually, we're going to have to link our new element's next pointer to the current's next pointer. And then the next thing you want to do is take uh, current next and make it point at our new element. So you've essentially placed your new element right in between the current and the one that followed the current. And this was uh, uh, dictated by the requirements for the function. And then you want to return zero. So you've essentially covered the, uh, the, the case where you have to place an element at the, in the middle of the list. Now what if it happens that we have to insert an element at the end of the list? Well this actually will perform it uh, uh, really well, it will work. The only thing you have to make sure is that you have to update the tail, the tail pointer at the end. So if it happens that you have to insert an element right after the, the final element of the linked list, you're going to have to update the tail element. Uh, uh, the tail pointer. And to do that, you're going to do it right here. So you're going to check first that uh, we're in fact at the end of the list. And to do that, all you have to do is just check new lm next is equal to null. So for our new element, if the, the if its next pointer is actually pointing to null after we've made these modifications, then we know we're at the end of the list. And what you want to do is you put tail uh, points to uh, your new lm.